Hey guys, welcome back. I am getting ready to start this amazing class kit from Erica Rose Creates. I mean, there are just so many things to play with. There's a couple left in the shop. So if you guys like to do, I think this was from Creative Chaos 2024. Um, if you guys like to do this kind of thing, there are instructions, there are cut files, there's a mini book, album class, so many things to be done. So I'm going to just jump right in. I think I'm going to start with, um, and I can't show you the directions <laughs> because that's part of the class. I have a Lindsay's layout uh, class, Summer State of Mind, and I cannot wait to play with it. So let's see, I need adhesive, foam squares, trimmer, scissors, corner rounder, and black ink optional. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what she wants us to do. So I'm gonna put my other instructions to the side just so I don't mix them up. Um, this class has, um, I have layouts from Lindsay's Layouts and so well done with the, um, you know, letting you know exactly what to cut and how with colored uh, PDFs. I think that's great. Then I have the same thing for Erica Rose Creates, her A Summer of Love layout class. Perfect. There'll be three layouts for that one. And then there is, you guys, a mini album. I can show you the album. A mini album from Erica Lake. And I love, love, love her albums. There's always so many cool little elements. She just kills it. So guys, let me see what I have to do. I have to find the swimming pool cardstock. I'm going to put these things to the side just so they don't go missing. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to get it all organized because there's going to be about 3000 pieces, you know, as it should be. It's fun. So I'm going to need the swimming pool cardstock. So I'm going to find all these pieces. You guys do not. Ooh, that looks like swimming pool cardstock. Totally does. So I think it's with this. So I'll put this one to the side. It doesn't look like it's in this, this portion of the class. Guys, look at all of this. Just this one collection. There's two giant collections worth of treasures. I mean, I, oops, a little tiny piece of twine. That's interesting. I'll put alphas together, get all organized. Look at this. So I have alphas, perfect. I've got cardstock stickers. I've got a whole ephemera pack. I have a complete unboxing on my channel for this stuff, guys. So don't you worry. So I'm gonna just get all set up. I'm gonna start cutting some pieces. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different because it's more of a kind of show you bits and pieces of things in the class. because. These are not my designs. This is just a super fun thing I'm doing because I always like to learn the next thing. Let me just make sure. Nope, one thing I don't think I need. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna separate out, get everything put together. She's got this amazing cutting guide. Like what I mean by that is like, for example, see right here, it says which paper, oh, come on, come on, Mr. Man which paper and what to cut and for what layout. Like, I love that kind of thing. So, phew, I think I'll cut them, put them into piles, each thing I need, get all nice and organized, and I'll see you in a little bit after I get some traction. Okay, super quick check-in time. I wanted to tell you how this is going. So I just did all of the cutting instructions and they were so clear. And I know that might sound funny, but they were literally so clear that I felt like, um, yeah, like I was right at the class. So, and that is the point of a well-written class that it's like that. So now for my first layout, I'm going to do, I was supposed to use a swimming pool cardstock for the background. The white cardstock was for the photo mats. And I went ahead with the cutting guides, cut all my cutting mats like they told me to. Um, I'm supposed to round the corners on a title tag, which means I better get, wait, layout one. Okay, so this must be the title tag. Where's my corner rounder? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So round the corner, do I round all the corners? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna round the corners. So I'm just following the instructions bit by bit, guys. But I did wanna bring up 
that I think they are so well done. I'm gonna get a little traction because this is a really like big packed class, but I just wanna tell you how it's going along the way. Okay guys, super quick check-in time. Uh, this was fun. So this is the first layout. It's a double page. It had instructions when to pop things up, when to have things laid flat. We have dimension. Now, the optional thing that I did not do was to ink the edges with black ink. So that is one of those things like you do you people, but super fun. I enjoyed this very much. And like I said, this is not my design. This is a class I'm taking. So I just, you know, sharing my experience with you, but I am loving the vibe so far. All right, I'm going to get back at so it. So I'm working on layout number two. It's like a bonus layout and it's called Always Take the Scenic Route. So it's the same class with Lindy's layouts. So I grabbed two pieces of white cardstock and I was told to use a certain brand of a spray um, to paint on the side. And I just grabbed what I have on hand. I'm on the Shimmers Paints team as well. So I grabbed a gorgeous Shimmers and the color I used was Sweetheart. Super pretty. I'm trying to let it dry because I don't want to get it on my white mat if possible. Okay, I'm going to keep playing along with this, guys. I will see you in a minute when I get a little traction. So let me see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six photos you can get on this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm working on the second side, and this is the point where I get to layer some die cuts. And you guys, you guys, this is fun. And part of the reason it's fun is, A, I'm always used to doing so much designing for myself, but this is just following, you know, an incredibly talented creator and, you know, what she would have chosen. So it's, it's interesting because, you know, of course we all have our own opinions, but this is giving me an opportunity just to see where somebody else would take this. And I think that makes it super fun. So this one kind of goes underneath this card here. And yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just doing a little tuck tuck, a little tuck tuck. So this one, I think, I think, I think, we get to just see these pretty little bits here. And then I'm not gonna put any adhesive here so I can get a photo down, right? So that will be great. And then let's get this little piece down here. So this is just like a couple more of these really pretty pieces and then some enamel dots and then this will be done. And then finally to do with Lindsay's class is a make and take. And it's this really cute tag. I'll show it to you, you know, like a little bit. Maybe I'll show it to you when I'm done. I don't want to bore you with this. I'm just having such a good time with this. Oh my gosh, guys. Listen, I'm using my new camera. And it's nighttime and it's actually so bright. Who knew what the difference would be? Okay. It is in the little things. I don't have any adhesive over here again. So I can get a photo in there with no muss, no fuss. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive at the top of this, not on the bottom because I need to shimmy this underneath all kinds of stuff, which I probably could have done before, but that's cute. That's good. All right. So for enamel dots, let me look at my little instructions here. And guys, it's, if you do something that you consider, um, <laughs> to be wrong, cause I did that on my first layout. I, I, I was wrong just fine. Uh, guys, it'll look great. These collections are curated, they chose well, it's fine. You can always pivot people, you can pivot. <laughs> what I did wrong on my first one is, you know how I had that side with all of those gorgeous pieces? Um, yeah, I cut them out myself when I was supposed to just layer things. I just, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Guys, I mess up in person. I'm definitely gonna mess up when I'm doing it at home. So, Kind of interesting. I wasn't exactly sure what color of mist or spray to use, but I do like my brighter pink that I came up with because it pulls out this beautiful pink throughout the collection. So that is this one done. So guys, I just did the make and take. Oh, oh, well the word hay is upside down. I am a tragic mess. So super cute, really great instructions, guys. Look at the giant paper clip and this little deedle hopper. Cute. I just have a couple of enamel dots on. 
and then I will be donezo with this class. So stay tuned. I'll grab the next right, one. Guys. So the next thing I'm starting is Erica's A Summer of Love layout class. We've got a great cut file. I'm assuming I'm supposed to back it. I have to put the white onto the pink. There are lots of fun instructions. Uh, using a blue ink and blending brush, I call it da, da, da. Okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to learn everything I have to do. So guys, I'm going to just keep pegging away at the class, but I cannot tell you how fun Lindsay's class was. So I'm going to get rocking on Erica's and I will come back as we finish up. I have to fill this in. I've got a little bit of fun mixed media work to do, which I love. And then we'll pop some of the little bits and pieces on. All right, y'all, I just finished this one up. It was super fun. This is where both of the photos go. I don't have them on there yet. I'm just playing with the class. I've popped on a few enamel dots. Could clean up the cut file right there, but this was super fun, super easy to back layout. I cannot say enough about when a cut file is nice and chunky and just do your thing. So super cute. I thought it was much fun. I've got these great florals, which I tend to give them a nice little bendy bend to give them a lit. I mean, not that they're going to be realistic, but just give them a little bit more vibe to them. But guys, this one is in the bag. How cute is that? So thanks so much to Erica. So I've got some good traction on this one. This one's so fun because we were given these templates of just cardstock and then, you know, we can trace words around it. I think it's super fun. Now my spacing is not exquisite right here. Um, don't really know what I did there. It's fine. I'll fill it in with leftovers. Once I get to, you know, the end of these projects, I'll know what's left to fill it in with and nobody will ever know, but you and I, that's how it is. You do things and then you're like, is it spaced right? Did I do right? I think it looks great. So little things will go there, more flowers, great. But how cute is that so far? So let's see, my next directions is I had to locate this, um, put it in the center. I need photos and use a die or a punch to cut it out and pop it in the center. Okay, so the next instructions is to put a photo there. Perfect. I can do that in a little bit, attach two floral die cuts to the right sides of my photo. Okay, it looks like I just gotta finish this up with a couple of die cuts. Like I said, I will finish filling in those bits in a little bit. I mean, I could, in theory. I don't know if I want to, I could. Does it matter if I go out like that? That does fill it in a little bit. If I go kind of like this, fills it in a little bit. It's not great, but it's better. I don't know if it did anything, anywho. I liked it better the other way. So we'll go like that and we'll fill in the stuff later. Okay. Which way do I want this to go with the like blue florally bits? I like those going that way. I don't know why, but I do. Anyway, that's great. So I have a couple more things to do on this layout and then I get to start the next one. Guys, I'm so excited to get started on this one. I'm going to be taking the class from Andrea Lakes and this is a summer memories album class. And I've taken a class from her in person as well. She is such a fun teacher. She explains things perfectly. I have no doubt that the instructions are going to be mwah. So I'm starting with a couple pieces of chipboard. And I'm covering them with this gorgeous pink fresh paper. I just have to decide, do I want to use wet adhesive? Because that can really make it stick. I think I might this time. And, uh, and I... If it's like in the past, she has us bring in like red line tape along the way. So I'm going to grab that too, just in case, you know, I'm just going on previous history. So I can't share the what's what with this class once again, because it's class content. And this is almost a weird video for you guys, because you usually just watch me do all of the things. But since it's not my design work, one must respect the work and dedication that went into this from people. I'm just gonna use some liquid adhesive. I am using my Artis, Artis, Artis glue from scrapbook.com. I have found that I adore it and I use it right out of the tip. I think it's plenty skinny enough for my usage. Okay guys, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Um, I'll come back along the way, and let you know how it's going. 
So guys, I have been working away at this and I have the base of this done. I switched out the ribbon um, because I'm in a light blue face. Anywho, I am low key proud of myself because this is super cool. So I'm gonna work on putting all the goodies together. I have one more layout to do. Oh wow, that's so wonky. I've got one more layout to do for Erica Rose Creates class and this class will be complete. I'll show you all the goodies when I'm done. It's done, it's done, and it is so fun and so well crafted. I think it is a blast. There's all kinds of spots and pockets and places for me to put my little treasures. And if I wanted to be a big old show off, I can show my album as a little star. Okay, guys, I have one more partial layout to do and I'll be done. All right, friends. So I finished up this layout. Super fun. Lots of texture and dimension and all that kind of stuff. We've got layered papers. I love all of that. So that was fun. But let me just briefly take you through what we did. I did this. And then I have this one. I have this one. A round photo is supposed to go there. I have, I have, I have this cuteness. And these are where photos go. And here would be the other side. So for a two page spreader, this is another two pager. So talk about getting photos on. So I'd have that. Where is this supposed to go? Oh, guys, where was this supposed to go? I think it goes there. <gasps> no, it goes right here. Don't do what I do. Okay, I have that. Then we have this cute little fun make and take. And then we have our album from Andrea Lake. Super fun there. I still have in my pouch, a cute little make and take in here to do, to do a couple of cards. Then what I wanna show you, cause I'm always curious, like what you bang for your buck, you know? So I have a bunch of papers left. Um, I'm a crafter that can use a bazillion patterns at the same time. So that's, I would say like two more layouts worth. Perfect. I've got, but here's where things like are pretty amazing. I still have enamel dots. I've got a nice amount of the floral ephemera left. We had two packages of this ephemera. I've got a decent amount there. Some gorgeous puffy still. Lots and lots of alphas left. And cardstock stickers, guys. So there is so much more that I will be doing with these goodies. I just wanted to show you after all of those projects, we still have more going on. And of course, we got the Prezi as well for just taking part of the kit. So guys, we totally scored. Um, that's it for me today, guys. I just wanted to show you all of those projects and all of this fun that I had. And I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, friends.